On the afternoon of April 1st, Olympic champion Wade Van Niekerk secured his fifth national title in the 400 meters with a blazing time of 44.17 seconds, marking his best performance since 2017. Van Niekerk displayed remarkable improvement in his sprinting abilities, showing unprecedented speed very early in the season. This performance would have earned him a gold medal at last year's World Championships in Eugene. In a recent interview with Olympics.com, Van Niekerk admitted that he believes he has room for growth and going under 43 seconds is the next step. One notable example of this is his new race strategy as evidenced by his recent performance. Wade used to start the 400 meters with a very aggressive acceleration as if it were a 100 meter dash. He was no stranger to pushing his body to the brink of a catastrophic exhaustion, often resulting in him either vomiting under the stands or being carried out of the stadium on a stretcher. It should come as no surprise that the first 100 meters are by far the most energy-intensive portion of the race. Therefore, starting with a slightly more conservative acceleration is the most effective way to save energy and ensure a powerful finish. This is exactly what Van Niekerk did in his latest race, running the first 100 meters in a very conservative 11.2 seconds. He then cruised through the next 100 meters in full control, reaching the halfway mark in 21.5 seconds. It's often said that the 400-meter race truly begins on the second turn, and many athletes believe that no matter how fast or slow you run the first half, you will hit the wall anyway. This has led to the misconception that quarter-milers should go all out in the first 50 meters. However, the reality is that the second half of the race depends directly and completely on how efficiently you expended your energy during the early stages. If you don't fully control the first half of the race, you may lose control over your body, and this could happen long before the finish line. We run a very controlled first 200 meters. Is that the plan? That's always the plan. I always try to run as controlled as possible for the first 200 meters, and that'll keep me strong for the last 200. By conserving his energy in the early stages of the race and running at a controlled pace, Van Niekerk positioned himself for a very strong second half, effortlessly surging through the final straight in 11.7 seconds. The fact that he didn't collapse on the track right after crossing the finish line, as is usually the case, confirms that he has significantly improved his skill in managing his energy.